Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 13th to the 14th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Scorpio. It's July 13th to the 14th of 2023 for Scorpio. July 13th to the 14th of 2023 for Scorpio. I see a swimming pool. I see it raining in the swimming pool. So it could be an outdoor pool. Flesh, temptation. Autumn, release. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dr. Frankenstein, villain. Overall energy is rose, purity. So you could be trying to practice abstinence or, um, what is it? Not abstinence. Um, celibacy. It's one of those. Abstinence or celibacy, one of them. <laughs> With purity. And this doesn't even have to be about sex. It could be about like any types of temptation. Food. Um just overindulging in something or abstaining from something totally with temptation and release you feel like you want to scratch a certain itch whatever that is for you but for some reason you're chastising yourself feeling like you're a villain for doing that you want to purify your energy let me get into why you feel this way and what this is give me a second When roses comes into your reading, is it, it is an urgent call to look at everything for what it truly is. To take a pure and unadulterated view of the current situation. To see the good, the beautiful, the delicate alongside the hidden, the daring and the dangerous with a level head. Because yeah, with temptation, villain, release, I feel like someone's like in the head or you're in your head and you're following extremes in regards to yourself or someone else it is a reminder to not get caught up in all the glitz and glamour of life whilst disregarding the flip side roses have thorns to protect the beautiful petals so that no one gets too close while smelling their delicate scent unfortunately something is happening in your life right now Probably a relationship where you can only smell the roses or see it through rose-tinted glasses. This may even be related to a close family member. So it doesn't have to be just love. It could be family, friend, or work. The purity of your love for this person is what drives you to protect or help them. But you cannot ignore the underlying pitfalls of the situation. Your best bet is to help them cope with the thorns of life rather than avoid them at all costs. Okay. So it says speak the truth. It will be a far gentler way to help a friend than spinning a fairy tale. Be honest with yourself and learn to cultivate what you find difficult in your life just as much as what you are good at and what you enjoy. Okay. And it says make the most of an opportunity while it still lingers. So, and then release a villain was temptation. Yeah. Let's get into the tarot for Scorpio. I just feel like you're being tempted by something you know isn't good for you or someone around you is. Take it as it resonates. King of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Three of Pentacles. I would say there's some caramel, candy. Page of Swords. Five of Swords. Over energy the Seven of Cups. Don't be tempted to work things out with someone who's verbally abusive. Like with the Five of Swords and the Page of Swords, someone says very hateful, heinous, hurtful things and they sit back and watch. 
or you're watching this happen to someone and you sit back and watch how it messes with their head, confuses their minds. Like someone's pretending that they want to work things out with you or someone's pretending to be your friend and they're really not. They watch how their words affect you. Like they say really hurtful, nasty things. With the five of swords, that's harsh criticism. Make sure you're not doing this to yourself. But again, I feel like someone could be trying to do this to you or you're witnessing this happen to someone around you. It's like they say these hurtful things, they pretend you, they're your friend or they pretend they want to be friends and they want to work things out. But then they say these hurtful things and they watch how it conflicts with your mind. Like this person acts like they want to be my friend. How are you my friend? But you're saying these hurtful things because they're not your friend. They're not your friend. They may, they may even gaslight you. They say something like you could have a normal conversation out of nowhere. They say something really hateful. And then when you confront them, they're like, what? Are you still on that? Or what are you talking about? It's like they say something hurtful and then they just brush past it like they didn't just say that. I feel like that's the type of person you're dealing with. You need to cut them out your life now. Ain't no room for this energy whatsoever. I don't tolerate that at all. I feel like the temptation could be to reconcile with this person. But I feel like this person said like, oh yeah, I want to be friends. I'm here for you. And then they just randomly, and this is, I mean, randomly say the most nasty thing they could say. Then they just move on like nothing happened. And they try to make you feel crazy or confused if you address it. Clarifying the King of Swords is the truth. You see this clearly. And you, it's time for you to release this person. And I feel like when you do finally step up to them or confront them, they try to make you the bad guy. Cut them straight off. Ten of Pentacles. The truth about a family member with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be family. could be a work environment. Clarifying Three of Pentacles is a Seven of Pentacles. You may want to hold on to it because you've been around this person for a long time. Y'all been friends for a long time. That doesn't matter. The longevity of a connection does not matter. If someone is being abusive, go. they got to go. That's not love. Love and abuse do not exist on the same plane. Period. When there's abuse, there's no room for love. And when there's love, there's no room for abuse. Queen of Cups. So you have the King Queen of Cups here. Clarifying the Page of Swords is the Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Yes, this person watches. They watch their effects, the things that they do and say. They watch how it affects you. They can see that you're putting it to an end as well. The Ten of Swords, the worst part of a situation is over. This person can see when you're fed up and you're putting an end to it. The Tower, Aries. Ooh. I love to see that. <laughs> blowing up in their freaking face this person never expected you to stand your ground on this clarifying the five of swords is strength leo winning at all costs energy with that five of swords standing in your power not letting what they did affect you not letting what they did carry on with you the betrayal is not staying with you and they're watching what they did blow up right in their face Nine of Pentacles. I love it. This person may be telling you, maybe not directly, maybe for some of you very directly, but for others of you subtly, either way, this person's trying to make you feel like you, you can't stand on your own too, that you're not independent. Obviously, the Nine of Pentacles is showing up because you're very independent, very financially stable. You don't need this person, but they want you to feel like you do or that you're not capable of handling things on your own, but you're realizing that you are. This person needs you more than you need them. I cut the deck and see the sun. You're realizing this. You're realizing your strength in the situation. Because the five of swords can be criticism, but it's also a win at all cost energy with the strength card, especially in the nine of pentacles. That means by any means, you're going to be financially stable and independent of this person. And by any means, you're going to stand by that and realize that. And this it's backfiring. Oh, aren't you the Ten of Cups? It could be family. It could be friends. It could be work. It could be love. Put it where it goes for you. But you're realizing that real family and real lovers and loved ones and people around you don't speak like this. They don't act like this. They don't treat you like this. Period. This person knows their time is up. 
So they may be trying to double down on it or they may be trying to act nonchalant and like they're not bothered, but they really are. It doesn't matter how this person looks on the surface. Underneath that, this tower is hitting their ass, okay? Because the page of swords, that's someone spying. They've been watching how this betrayal has affected you and they're also watching this tower. Maybe you did go through a tower moment after this betrayal, but they're also seeing that you're not letting them get to you. You're not letting them get you down. Maybe you were down for a moment, but you're not out. And I feel like now this person's going through a tower. They're backfire. It's backfiring. Thine, courage. Curse is see your truth, speak your truth. Lemon, bitterness. Don't allow the situation to make you bitter, even if you were bitter for a little bit. Don't allow the situation to make you bitter. You may need to incorporate more lemon or drink some lemonade in order to release any like residual energies. This That's what this person wanted. They wanted to see if this situation would make you bitter. So make sure if you do have social media or you're posting anywhere, make sure you don't post anything in any way, shape, or form related to the situation whatsoever. Because they're looking for any little seed or inkling that you're bitter about it, that it is sticking with you. That they're getting a rude awakening. With the Ten of Swords, the worst part of a situation is over. With the Tower, you're letting the situation go. This person is going through a Tower watching you move on. Seeing that they did not affect you or put an end to you. Maybe they did affect you, but they didn't put an end to you. This person wanted you to be down and out permanently. And they're realizing that that's not the case for you. Eucalyptus, breathe. Overall energy is mustard faith. Because you still have faith in yourself. This person wanted to take that away from you. And I don't know why they thought that. Especially not with a Scorpio. But in general, with human life, humans are very resilient. They're not about to like, no. Again, this person thought they ate and they didn't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.